Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name's Jake and I want to show you how to turn this really sort of natural money piece sort of brown hair colour into this really amazing red sort of like richy rose colour and I'm honestly obsessed with this. I think it turned out amazing and I'm just going to be putting my gloves on. Make sure you always wear gloves and I'll be using the Fanola Bleach and it is really nice it's purple which will help cancel out some of the yellow and i'm using 40 volume because mannequins lift like really bad they don't really lift well they go kind of like orangey so i had to use the highest volume developer just to help me like boost up the lifting i'm going in diagonal sections and i kind of struggled a bit because um the foil didn't want to stick properly but as i went on i found it a lot easier to do and also don't judge my voice my voice sounds terrible i've got a bit of like a sore throat so if anyone's wondering <laughs> That's why my voice sounds funny. So I will leave you watch this time lapse. So the way I'll be doing this is I'm going to be doing it like how you would like a freehand balayage, just like painting it on with my brush at like an angle, so like it feathers at the root, and then I'm going to be doing most of the ends pretty much um, blonde, because some pieces lifted really well and some didn't, which actually made the red look a lot better, because like the front already had pre-lifting, so that front money piece is really, really bright, which is what I wanted. So as you can see, I'm just going to go in like small different sections and paint it on. I also wanted to say, don't worry about me using the 40 volume on this mannequin, even though she has like the pre-lifting. So I, when I pre-lifted the front pieces, I only used like 20 or 30 volume. And on mannequins, they don't really lift well anyway. So I wasn't worried about putting the 40 volume on her hair. And I used Olaplex and things like that on her hair afterwards. So obviously on a client, just make sure you don't use as high of a volume. So I'm just finishing up the foils and I'm going to be doing my toner. I will be using the Colour Tamer, which is make, making it like a pastel, but it didn't really make it pastel. It was more of just like to thicken up the batter a bit. And I'm also going to be using the red, which is going to give it obviously the red colour. And then I'll be using a bit of pink. What the pink's going to do is help it make it more of like a rosy red, not too in your face red. So I'm just going to mix these off and apply it to the hair. I would have done a pre-toner prior to this, but I didn't have any toners, so hopefully soon I'll be able to get some other like redkin toners or some like Port Riot just to practice doing a bit more toners and obviously doing pre-toners and things like that.
so I'm just going to be blow drying it here. I'm literally just going to be blasting it off and then I'm going to style it off camera just because I thought the video would be too long even though it's actually quite a short video. But I'm using the Osmo 10 in 1 leave in because I love using leave in conditioners on here, especially on mannequins because they're like very much prone to damage and things. So just using like conditioners and things like that really does help. So here are the finished results. I am obsessed with this hair colour. As you can see, you've got that really rosy sort of red in the hair. And I am honestly obsessed with this. So please like, comment, subscribe and turn notifications on when I upload a new video. I hope you enjoyed. And also go follow my Instagram, which is at Hairstyles by Jake. Thanks for watching.